Yes. All right. And looking at this, I see I'm not broadcasting any any desktop. Oh, there we go. Fiddle with that audio. It's been weeks. It's been actually a couple months since I streamed. And so I've forgotten how everything works because wh why? Why do I forget something simple like this? But I do. All right. That's true. There has been a Windows update since uh, the last time I did this. So we'll blame that. Sure. Gonna stream. There we go. So what is that icon at the end of your message, Joshua Dolman? To me, that looks like Total Biscuit. But that would be a weird icon. So who is that supposed to be? My eyes are too old. Oh, it is? Oh, an old emote that stole his face. All right, well, in honor of TB then. Yeah. Oh, let me check on before we start this game because I know you love just staring at a link. I swear we will start this video game any minute now. Hey, welcome, Am Amstrad. And hi, Soldier Hawk. Good to see you. All right. Now, obviously, there are a lot of people streaming Destiny 2. I mean, this is a pretty popular game. And everybody's, like, grinding their ass off on the end game trying to get the best gun ever. So to be a hipster weirdo, I thought I'd stream the beginning of the game. So we're going to, like, look at the first half hour or an hour of Destiny 2 story, which is probably not very fair to Destiny 2, but I swear I really do like this game, even though I'm showing the worst parts of it up front. It's not my fault they started, they put such an emphasis on a story and then didn't make one. Alright. The first thing I find really weird here is these numbers. I think that, like, that's your power level. Um, so it, it lists your power level in a great big number, and then your actual character level in a smaller font. That's different from how most games... Like, imagine you log into WoW and it's like, oh yeah, you know, you're level 69, but here's how much damage you do. And that's, like, the main thing that's displayed. So it kind of shows this game's different focus, that it's really focused on loot. Now, you can only equip better loot if you've got the level to equip it, but it it shows the, the, the focus this game has on loot. And I just started my Titan character. I just wanted to select it and see his stats. Change character. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, your power, as far as I know, DudeCon, yes, power level is based on equipment. So I'm going to create a new character. I've already got one of these. I guess there's, and I've played one of these. This is, I played a Titan. There's not a lot of difference between the character classes. It's just what your special ability, that I've found out so far. I play the game exactly the same as these two characters. So I'm going to play a Warlock this time, just to be different. So what do you say? Vote male, female. Welcome to Ghoul.
Nobody has any thoughts on male, female? Come on, I don't want to make this decision. Just flip a coin, pick something. Female, I guess. Male or female, which looks better in the armor you want to use. I don't even know what armor I'll get. It's all random drops. Yes, this game is on the Battle.net launcher. Gave me a reason to fire up Battle.net for once in nine months. What do they eat? Alright, we've got one vote for male and one vote for female. Alright, I haven't played the EXO yet. I've played... Oh, I really dislike this. Look, I'm like, oh, I'm going to pick human. And then you come over here with your mouse. Oh, it goes away. I'm trying to mouse over that. You have to go this way. That's, I don't like that. This, this interface is trying really hard. This interface is trying really hard to be cute. All right, I've tried human. I've tried awoken, which is your basic space elves, I guess. I haven't played as awoken. If I play and, or I have played as Awoken, and as human, I have not played as Exo. It is, uh, Peter, it does feel like a controller-based interface, very much so. Although, I am using a mouse and keyboard. But yeah, if this, this dead zone right here would not be a problem if if I was using a controller, because I'd be using the bumpers to move around. So to get on with this, since since there's a tie in the comments, I've decided we're going to play as a male. We're going to be this dude. We're going to have white. Actually, you know what? You know what else you can't do? Is you can't rotate your character around. I can't look at him from the side. I mean, there's not a lot of customization here, but there's some. All right, this is it. Really, I can give my robot a tattoo. My robot can have a tattoo. I actually really like that tattoo. I take it back. We're going with this. This means I'll be the same race as Nathan Fillion's character. There we go. That big ball is the Traveler, which never goes anywhere. This lore is weird. Oh, oh there's Nathan Fillion. The only character worth listening to in this game. Like, you could just edit the game so it's only him talking. Cora, if you tell me this is a practical joke, well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Kay, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. Let's <laughs> get serious, people. Zavala, this is my serious face. Can't you tell? I call him. This game needs way, for as goofy ass as this game is, it takes itself way too seriously. This is especially true when it comes to the bad guys, who look hilarious, but the game plays them 100% straight. We'll see them in about 15 minutes. Subtitles! That would be great. Alright, as soon as we're out of this. That, that one shot of the ships shooting those missiles makes me think of Homeworld every time. Oh. Yes, fire bullets will help Nathan Fillion. Shoot the spaceship with your fiery, fiery bullets. I'm sure that will really put a dent in this attack. It is a pretty game.
So as far as I've been able to piece together, I've like played the first four hours of Destiny 1. And I've played the first four hours of this game. And as far as I can tell, the Traveler isn't... I'm sure people will correct me. I'm sure I've got this all wrong. The Traveler there, that big space ball, is a magic thing. It's, it gives Guardians their powers. Guardians are player characters. And it's kind of like the Force. You can come back from the dead. So that's how you respawn. And you can get special abilities. And the bad guys are here to steal it. Yeah, like I said, uh, Soldier Hawk, like about I've put about four hours into this game, somewhere in that ballpark. Oh, so pretty. Look at that, that huge vista just for this shot. Whoosh! And that's it. That's the last we'll see of that try. Somebody probably put days of work into that. Uh, once again, they have a silent protagonist, which is fine, but they obviously set up the story so you need to communicate with characters. So then they have your little, your little ball, your little robo ball, talk for you. It's an odd arrangement. I can see what they're trying to do. That way, they're not characterizing my character for me, and I can still imagine that I've got whatever personality I like. But it's, it's a weird thing to have a, this little chatter ball that does all your talking for you. <laughs> it's... Victor, I, I got Destiny 2 for free and I already have buyer's remorse. Alright, let's see what we can do about turning on subtleties. It's not there. Am I blind? Have I looked past it? Cinematic music volume, chat mute, voice chat, push to talk, team. Oh, maybe it's under accessibility. Every game has to have it in a different. There it is. Um. All right. Let's see if that works. This is, I'm coming off this shooter right after playing Wolfenstein. So, this really drives home. Oh, you see that headshot? How good Bungie is at this. When you shoot somebody in the head, you get a fountain, a really visible fountain of like this mist, like their helmet depressurizes. So it sort of gushes their atmosphere out. So you can see it. You get a different sound, so you hear it. Their body language changes and they flinch. Um, and you've got the damage numbers. So there's all these indicators, like boom, you got a headshot. So that you get that little blast of dopamine, meaning, you know, you did good. And coming off Wolfenstein, where it just felt like it felt like everybody was just a bullet sponge, like you were just shooting them with with squirt guns. I mean, they'd fall over, but they did so by just sort of going limp. And it's a night and day difference between. Oh, hey, Nathan Fillion. And teleport away. That's a useful ability. When do I get to do that? Teleport to the next cutscene? Over here, Warlock. 
Take care of these people. Do you mean kill them? Are you gonna kill them? I don't care. Oh, my armory is open to you, he says, and then he gives you literally the worst assault rifle you will ever own. You are the worst quartermaster ever. See, isn't that nice, those headshots? Like, that feels good even when you see someone else do it. I never got that feeling when I was playing Wolfenstein, the, the new odor. Oh, no, wait, the new Colossus. Bump the game audio in relation to your voice. Or lower your voice and turn it up on my end. I don't know. Oh. Here. That's the top audio. And I'll just give you a few more decibels. Alright. Let me know how that works for you. Oh. You're doing great, guys. I have utmost confidence in you. Oh, I... See? Isn't that nice? Even the even the color of the, the damage font changes from white to yellow to let you know, hey, you, you did a cool thing. So some guys have a shield and you have to switch to your shield killing weapon. It's not super deep, but it does give you a nice reason to change weapon. Are you guys coming up here, or am I going down there? What are we doing here, guys? I hate disorganized fights. They keep acting like, haha, I'm gonna come up here and fight you with my- with my There we go! See, isn't that better? Now I can shoot you. What's in their helmets? This is blue smoke. Look at the size of that thing. It must be their command ship. That, that um, particular voice message is on a timer, and I got caught up fighting guys and looting in that room, and he was like, look at the size of that thing, and I'm looking around this closet that I'm looting going, what, the size of that bar, that crate? I've seen crates, game. So that's the bad guy's command ship. And unlike Nathan Fillion, I'm not cool enough to take it down with my gun. Random explosion. Completely silent, like the audio 
cut out. This is a weird time. Like, he was playing this epic music during that fight. But now that we're looking at this, you would think that now would be the time to play the music. Oh no, they're attacking the Traveler. Yeah, Joshua Dolman, I think it's probably my jank-ass computer. I, I am definitely a little on the low end here. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, my ghost keeps tagging these cabal as Red Legion. Cora, what do you got? They're elite, ruthless, and rumor is they have never known defeat. Until today. Today they face guardians. Today they meet us, so they finally meet the feet. Because that's what we are. The traveler waits. Walking the feet. We protect our people at any cost. Oh, down here. The traveler. What is that thing they're attaching to it? All right, now this fight, this fight, okay, there's some dude here. It's this NPC right up there, it's got this really bright marker saying, hey, this guy's important. Every once in a while, that ship up above us, right there, I guess that's their command ship. will fire missiles at us. And he will say, quick, you know, they're firing missiles, come to me, and he'll cast the shield, and if you're inside of the shield, the missiles can't hurt you. Except the timing is set up so that if you do what he says, he says it just as the missiles are launching. So if you're a new player and just doing what the tutorial is telling you to do, you will get there just in time for him to lock you out of the shield, and you will... He will be safe inside, and you will be trapped outside, and will be insta-killed well by the missiles. There's another player, I think. So, incoming, fall back to my shield. Look, I never would have reached that in time. I would have hit sprint, and then I would have just got to the shield just in time for him to slam it closed on me, and murder me. Oh. Oh, that was my entire special ability? That wasn't much. Oh. So, it's weird, I'm, I'm getting hit a lot, and I'm like, oh, that's bad, and then I look up and my health is, is fine. I think this beginning part of the game is just scaled so that, other than being griefed by this guy over here, is, it's really hard to die. Missiles, stay inside my- run over to my shield and let me watch you die from the missiles. A You can walk the... He never made it. I'm you can walk through the shield? I could I'm not. I was stuck outside pressed against it. But maybe I was caught on We're some on scenery it. and thought I was caught on the shield. Plaza. You know, I've done this 
three times now, and I'm still not sure which way I'm supposed to go. We can't lose him. Where am I going? Oh, there. Now we need to leave now. The uh, the Warlock's Hadouken is the un most underwhelming super. Yeah, that was super disappointing. My other characters, when I hit the super, I get to wreck stuff and kill several guys. And, and I used it a minute ago, and, like, it just made this flash of light. Nobody even died. Like, as, as a hunter, I normally kill several people with one super. And here, I was in the middle of a group of guys, and I killed nobody. That is really disappointing. I'll bet I'm not going to play this character much longer. So, um, how's this going? Looks like you missed a spot. Ikora, the speaker is gone. Red Legion, you will take no more from us, and you will find no mercy in me. Oh. Now, do you have a plan for getting off of that, or Shield no? The speaker. We need to move on that command ship. Now head to the North Tower. I'm sending Amanda Holiday to pick you up. This is such a pretty... Look at how cool this is. I want to see this place before it gets destroyed. It's just such a cool area, and you just shoot half a dozen dudes and sprint through. to do. If this was a single player game, this would definitely be a place where they would uh, give you some audio logs or something else to check your forward progress. So you'd explore this little place. What are you shooting? It's rude. Wasn't that place where the guy says, come to my shield? Wasn't that like the main hub in Destiny 1? Zavala, picked up that guardian you never showed up about? Get him on that command ship, now! Hold on back there! Shields are down and we'll hit that ship with everything we got.
Here's another, like, somebody had to, like, there's a bunch of scripting and animations going on. Like, this is, you know, somebody just said in the chat that the Guardian's tactics are terrible. I gotta say, these guys don't have such hot tactics either. Like, this is, this is full of guys. This is how they send guys down to the planet. They load them into a giant iron skee ball and just sort of fling them at the planet. Don't you get to drop ships or like parachutes or something? I mean, it's not my place to tell you how to destroy my world, but that can't be a fun ride. There's not even any windows. You just sort of impact with the ground and it pops open and now you're in a fight. The shield generator should be at the bottom of the ship. No, nope, not that way. sticking up there, but it's... Oh, that does count, sort of. Can I kill this guy with melee? Yes! That was fun. Damn, by falling skee ball, yeah. Imagine one of these great heroes is like, alright, Guardians, we need to rally the from Bat! And he just just gets obliterated by a golf ball from space. So, am I going the right way? No. This game is bad about pulling you through the environment. I mean, it's not a maze, it's, it's linear, but I often get turned around. That looks like a fix. It's odd. You, we saw other players at that, where that guy kept telling us to come to his shield, right? But we don't see players here. Like, some of this is instanced and shared, and some of this is single player, and it's not clear where the line is. I mean, I'm sure if I hung around, I'd see the players, you know, when they leave the room, they'd probably despawn from my point of view. Okay, this assault rifle sucks too much for for fights at this range. Strategy there, sniper. I'm gonna come up and beat me with this sniper sniper rifle.
I'm not playing catch, Seamus. Grenades in this game are terrible. I, I mean, maybe they're good, and I don't know how to use them, but I never get any results from using grenades. They feel like they have a tiny blast radius, and you don't get that many, or they reach... I'm not even sure when you get them. Is it just, like, on a cooldown? They really are weak. Okay, so it's not just me. Come on, you little chicken shit. Get out here. Oh, I hate that. He doesn't want to kill me. He just wants to waste all my time. Really, my grenade is still not off cooldown. Oh, there it is. Man, I keep getting tagged and I'm like, oh, better back off. And I look and my health is at the top. Yeah, I, I never noticed how much it treats you with kid gloves in a tutorial. Which is fine, That's it's what I expect, but after playing a bit later in the game, it's uh... Generator should be straight ahead. And then I fall like a doofus. The warlock can eat their grenade for a heal. That please oh, that is hilarious. Please tell me they have an animation of him actually eating the grenade. Whoa! I need to make sure that doesn't happen again. Okay, so it's not literally eat. And this! We have, we have to destroy the turbine. This feels like such a single player game thing to do. But this thing does- this game does not want to be a single player game. You know, there's no audio logs, there's no flavor, you know, in the environments. There's no environmental storytelling. It's very much feels like an MMO, but then once in a while it has these goofy... Ah, why can I not jump? Um, how do I get out of this hole? Up! Oh. Oh. And now I'm in trouble. The jumping, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but sometimes I can just jump a huge distance. And right now, I, like, can't. I don't know. No collectibles, no non-combat missions, linear skill trees, no dialogue choices. No dialogue from you. Oh. Well, 
Is the Warlock worse at jumping than the other classes? I don't remember having this much trouble jumping when I was Hunter. Hunter felt like she could jump forever. Oh, this feels terrible. I see. I'm using. I was thinking it was double jump, where you jump at the apex of your jump, and so that's. I, oh, I must have the timing off. I see. You got to do. Yeah, the quicker you double tap, the higher you jump. Got it. Now. Thank you. Well, that's something you could have explained to me, game. I mean that that mission bouncing around in there is obviously to teach you to jump, but it doesn't. Or it's obviously to make sure you jump properly, but it doesn't tell you what you're supposed to be doing. How do we come back from this? You don't. This guy. Welcome to. <laughs> and you're like, what? What? That's how this conversation. I I know the audio has him speaking normally. Oh, I just lost my guardian powers. Guardian, something's wrong. Yeah, this guy's mask is ridiculous. Do not look at me, creature. Yeah, he does kind of have a bane thing from Dark Knight Rises going. Undisciplined, cowering behind walls. Cowering behind walls? I'm in your base, dickhead. I'm literally inside of your base. Allow me to reacquaint you. How can you accuse me of hiding behind walls? I mean, okay, you got me fair and square on the weak thing. I'm obviously a level one wolf. But I'm inside your base. You're not inside mine. You're the one cowering behind walls. I am Ass. Your and your light is mine. Their mounts without the masks are so much worse. He has a second in command who cannot, like, his. He looks like a mole rat. We'll see him in a couple cutscenes. Alright, so that was Destiny 2, everybody. <laughs> I guess that's the end of the game. Okay, he's inside my base, but I'm inside his ship inside my base. I still think I have the moral high ground on that one. I don't actually know what this is that it's showing us. I assume it'll pay off later, which is probably a mistake to assume that. And the Traveler is wrecked. This is the worst part of the game. This, this sucks. We have no powers, and it's a long trek. Oh yeah, I forgot, we have to do the super slow walk of defeat and cower from back. This is long, too. Like, they linger on this. Like, the rest of this game is in such a hurry to get to the shooting, but this. This is a, this is a moment for a single player game. Like, I would have no problem with this in a single player story based game. But this is an MMO shooter based on grinding for better guns. So 
a break in the flow like this that you can't skip is really weird. And it's especially, I mean, I get that what, what's really, the real reason I'm going slow is the author wants me to see, you know, the city's been conquered and guys are marching all over the place. But this goes on for a while. Every game should let you skip the prologue. Especially after, if it's your third time through. Oh, oh, I thought I was speeding up, but no, that was me tripping. But that was faster. Can I just constantly trip? What's the trip button? And I'll just stumble forward. And then, I've never tested it, but I'm willing to bet you die if this thing catches you in its light. The, the, the game telegraph, the game acts like that's the case. Like, oh, obviously I have to hide under this thing. And I'd find out. But I'm worried that if it killed me, it would make me do that slow-ass walk again. And nobody has time for that. Oh. Oh, there's another trip. So now I can't move it all. There we go. Really, that's what he's saying. This is awful. Oh. Welcome, Califortuna. Injure you? Yeah, it does. I hate that it has me carrying this obviously broken out of bullets gun. It's like, put, put the gun away. Oh, it can even look down iron sights in my useless gun. I can't even swing it at people. And I don't have my double jump. Rendezvous coordinates. Uh, Califortuna, I talked about it on my podcast, which I know not everybody listens to that. Uh, what do I think of it? I really like the gameplay, I love the scenery, and the story is just silly. It's just They put so much money into making something so bare bones. It's really strange. I don't even... It's strange. Is the diecast on iTunes? Probably not. The RSS feed has to be set up right for that to happen, and it's always broken. They had no chance without their powers. That could be us. Uh. Guardian, if you die, I can't resurrect you. Oh. We need to be very careful. I just post the um, I post the diecast on my blog, and. That's where most of my readers come from, so or most of my viewers come from. So sometimes I forget, not everybody is here from the blog. I should probably get the time the diecast working on iTunes. Go away. His head exploded. That's weird. So what's that bar at the bottom? It's green, it just said plus 50, is that XP? And it says follow your vision. Now I get that it says follow... It's telling me to follow the bird. 
but I never got the impression that it was a vision. I just thought it was a bird. The music in this game is quite good. Skyrim is for the Norse. Falcon again. Is it following us? Or are we following it? Or maybe it's a completely different Falcon. Can you recognize Falcons? Is he wearing a name tag? This is something that the game tricks me with. It's like, oh yeah, I've fallen that distance before. I must look. That looks like a path. No. That's an insta-kill. You're supposed to go this way. There's several parts in the game like that where it feels like you're supposed to go one way and you're supposed to go another. Not a lot. It's not often, but you do get hung up on that. And I notice it because the environmental design is otherwise so good. Like that place where it was, I would have fallen and died, that's not much steeper than what we're going down now. So it's not always totally clear. If I'm a robot, dude, why do I need to worry about dying? That's a good question. I mean, I suppose I can get broken. It's not work anymore. Oh, don't read chat while murder dogs are coming. Oh. guys eat that their heads explode when you shoot them there. It feels good. See, doesn't that feel good? When they blow up like that. The people who made Wolfenstein the New Colossus really need to play this game. Now, I believe this next part is just a straight-up trick. The game's like, jumped, I don't think you can make this jump. And when you, and when you fail, it takes you to the cutscene. You're supposed to, like, try and double jump and then realize, oh, I can't double jump. Oh, look. Somebody left a perfectly good guardian lying around. Things must be worse than I thought. And that's our cue. Time to go. People. That body language looks so goofy on a robot. What was that? It's like it's sort of cringing like a person. That falcon belongs to you. The name's Hawthorne, and this is Lewis, the best pilot we got. What about you? Telefortuna, I am also worried about Borderlands 3. Everything I've heard about it has sounded um worrisome. Time to make yourself useful, Guardian. Alright, people, spin them up! Got a long flight ahead of us. Warframe is pretty much everything Destiny wanted to be except free. Oh, good. And significantly more janky. Oh. I've never played Warframe, but that makes me want to play it. So he's talking to the to the Traveler. Oh, here comes the most hilarious cutscene. This guy's mumbling at the Traveler. <laughs> And then his second in command comes in, who looks even more ridiculous. Domination. 
Like, they had gave him a, a, a really good voice, but look at this face. There's no way this guy can pronounce these words. This guy should be like, all those foolish enough, victory, as with all things, is your to claim. That's what his voice should be like. He can't move his up his lower lip over his teeth to meet his top lip. He should have Homestar Runner's voice. Put it to its rightful use. Rightful use. How are you even making the F sound? I would contend that other civilizations may be more precise in their naming. Its functions can be controlled. And exploited. As we Star have so Citizen 27,000 thing. I'll have to find out what that is. <laughs> Yet they believe it to be a god. Dominus. Gaul. We have spent our lives, you and I, working to reshape our society, reforge our people. Look at all that crap he's got on his armor. All those little knickknacks and stuff. I get that it's supposed to be like this tribal thing, but it, it looks like he's got wind chimes around his armor. The Red Legion will have that machine's power. You will be called Emperor. You will be called Emperor. What the Dominus have? What war would the Dominus have? This is the speaker in the previous game. He was voiced by Bill Nighy, and he was completely pointless. He was like this famous actor to play this character who has nothing to contribute to the story. Dominus would make sense as a title. I believe that's like a Roman title and they're trying to ape the you know Romans did they replace his actor I don't know he did talk at one point but I wasn't coming up totally on the European listening. dead zone gonna be our new home for a while still no. Bill Knight okay that's where we're supposed to go that thing they call it the shard of the traveler I call it not a place you want to go poke So a shard of the traveler is here, far away from the rest of the traveler. Is it? Did it fly here? Just because the rest of it just looks like it fell on the ground, or this game is very unclear. But we have to go to the shard of the traveler and get our powers back. So what do they eat? Oh, we're on a farm. Okay, I guess that, that clears that up. Do you have a story to tell? Oh, I'm glad to see you safe. Okay, thank I, you for that. Our history yeah. rests with you now. I'm sorry, I don't normally. Oh no, wait, I have to continue talking to her. Like I don't normally skip stuff in this game, I'm glad but. To see you safe. I am Tyra. Tyra Karn. I'm sorry. The truth awaits. But this game just is not earning the right to my time with its story and cutscenes. Civilization. For me, at least. Of course, I've been living out Now, this is confusing. Is it saying what I'm going to get for doing so, this quest? Anyway, or is it saying you, you get this stuff? Because it lets me keep clicking travel. on it. Like you guardians have a weird idea of a good time. Oh, well. It's very confusing. Lewis and I know plenty about trusting the gut. So I'm not about to stop you. What, what is this for? Why, do, why can I... Take that ship you flew here. At least you it'll get you back faster. See all these refugees? I haven't lost one yet. Don't you be my first.
I don't understand. What is that? Oh, she's selling stuff that makes no sense. A quest giver. You're turning in a quest. So I figure, oh, this must be where you get a reward. She's a shopkeeper. Okay, that's pretty counterintuitive. Well, who cares? It, I'm glad I made that mistake at the beginning of the game when you have like zero dollars. This is another thing. Your starting gear looks cool, but what button do you go to? Your starting gear looks cool, and then everything you pick up after that looks terrible in comparison. I love the idea that she's telling me that she's telling me, oh, you're gonna go to the Shard of the Traveler and get your powers back, and all I'm doing is like, sell me 50 pairs of boots. That's all I care about is I need as many boots as you can give me right now. Yeah, so <laughs> need to tell Deborah about that one. <laughs> so, F1 brings up your character stats, but F1 is also, um, the open broadcast, or what I use to switch to the title screen. There's no way for me to open up my character info without sending you all to the title screen. Can I get to it here? Open character. All right. Okay, we got it. I love this. I love this. So I was just sitting there clicking on this crap in her inventory, you know, while she was giving me the rundown. And she's like, oh, you've got to go to the Shard of the Traveler and do this yes, quest. And I apparently was standing there ignoring everything she said and just buying all of her boots. Yeah, I know I can change the bindings in Open Broadcaster, but, like, I like to keep them the same all the time, and I don't want to have to, like, switch windows to... Dang it, game. This game should let me change the bindings, is what it should do. So here's a problem I have with the game. Uh, all of your starting gear looks cool, and you... Like, I've played four hours, and I never found anything that looks as cool as my starting gear. So, you come out looking awesome, and then you immediately change into a bunch of trash. It's got way better stats. Oh, look at that. What a disappointment. Ugh. So now my character looks, like, way less cool. Another boot hoarder roleplay character. <sighs> Look at this. What a huge disappointment. It looks so boring. Also, I'm genuinely curious about this. Oh, this is cute. I guess they thought players would hang out here in the starting area and play football. And maybe they did at launch, but there's nobody to play with now. So, oh, here's an interesting path. Maybe this is where I'm supposed to go. This will kill you. Kill you for walking through a fence. Like, just the most crude sledgehammer solution. What you're actually supposed to do is bring up a menu. Hey, hey, hey. And launch your ship. Why is it a, right? 
Kelly Fortuna, why is it possible for me to get over the fence if the game doesn't want me to go? They could make it impassable. But instead they leave it open and then kill you if you go through it. What was the game designer thinking? You sure you want to do this? That shard is the reason this place is called a dead zone. We have to it's a sign what yeah, is a sign says, what's a sign that it's here are you talking about like a mystical Ugh, this game's all over the map it doesn't know what it's doing like I could definitely buy into the idea that the the the, the travelers like the force and it's got like this mystical thing going but the game doesn't go there you know and won't commit to it like earlier it was like oh a vision we're seeing a vision of a hawk and then no it's just this lady's pet <laughs> and it's like you're supposed to leave the city a small gap in the wall hard to see but it's there here's the thing you're paying the cost narratively for having mystical stuff in your story but then you're not having it it's all it's all payment and no payoff it's just a really weird way to structure your motivation Ooh, I forgot I didn't have double jump there. Okay. Let me know when you reach The shard has been there for a couple of centuries. Huh. And like nobody looked into it or did anything with it or I mean it looks a little like that's a giant piece of a sphere so why isn't there a piece missing from the real one I don't know under attack. I really dig this shotgun the game gives you a shotgun to start with and then I didn't find another shotgun. I, I outgrew this one, and I never found another one with either of my other characters. And I really enjoyed using this shotgun. The fallen. Scavengers from another world. They worship machines. Oh. Another weird thing is that when you're running forward, the strafe keys do nothing. That feels like console or nonsense. Like, I just want to keep looking forward, but kind of move a little bit to the side. It's the it's effectively running one way while you've got your head pointed another. It's a natural thing to want to do, especially in a video game. Like I want to run up here, but kind of look down here, you know, look right... You, you can't do it. Once you're sprinting, the straight keys do nothing. The shard of the traveler. Here's a place where you're supposed to drop down, even though it looks like instant death. That's where we're headed. We'll get our powers back, and then I think it will be time to wrap up this stream. I really, I know I've done nothing but bitch and moan here for the last hour. But I really am enjoying playing this game. As, as silly as it is sometimes.
Yeah, you can tell I'm, I'm doing really badly now. And you can see my health is actually going down. The, the game is taking off those kid gloves. And it's like, no, you, you actually have to play the game properly now. And if you play like an idiot, you'll get, you'll get injured. I know the game really is designed around aim down sights and I you know I grew up with the 90s shooters where that wasn't a thing and so it's just not part of my normal rhythm uh, and I have to remind myself I you know I'll, I'll get out an assault rifle and I'll start shooting and I'm like oh why can't I hit anything oh I'm supposed to be looking down the sights and then I'll remember but yeah I like shoot from the hip style I'm doing alright with the headshots here Come on, I can see you. There we go. I actually enjoy games that really reward um, headshots just because I like working for them and I like having a reason to. I hate games that like ignore headshots, which again, Wolfenstein New Colossus just felt awful. I mean, I, I don't think it ignored headshots, but it never felt like it was making a huge difference. Wow, that guy hit hard. And I'm being really clumsy here. I like games that let me um, get headshots and reward them. I don't like games that want me to always be looking down sights. Oh, we are in trouble now. I am playing this like Quake, which is not what you're supposed to do. Really help if I had some some juice for my shotgun. Also, when I lost my powers, I apparently also lost the ability to create grenades from nothing. So that's a big disappointment. I mean, not that they did much, but. them away. Take me to the shard.
This is why we were led here. You were led here by what, the bird? Close to the <laughs> what are you even talking about? Do you feel it? Hold on to your helmet. Do you feel it? The light is back. We're back. Although we're still dressed up to the Suppose, don't suppose the I light can do anything guardian. about that. You got a cool helmet in there, traveler. All right, so now it's like, hey, go to town. You get to use your powers a whole bunch. Let's light them up. Is this got arranged? Yeah, it does. Okay. Ah, why? Are good at when we've got infinite. So it just lets you use your power infinitely here. I guess this is a tutorial. I said infinitely, but I don't see in, in the previous times I played through this, there was always just more. Like I could just keep doing supercharge forever. I'm not see oh, there it is. And then it just teleports you away. Oh, no, I want to look around this cool environment since I've been shooting. No, you teleport away. Yeah, I... I if losing your powers was supposed to be for the tutorial, but you had them for the tutorial, and then you lose them, and yeah, it is, kill, it is just like killing Shepard for five minutes, but worse, because you already had the exa example of how, what a dumb idea that is, and how odd it feels. Like, it's just this odd, jarring structure. So, what were you thinking? Why did you do that? Do you get to upgrade this ship? I have not yet, but on the upgrade screen, it does show your ship is an upgradable thing. Or a replaceable thing. I don't know, maybe you can just replace it cosmetically. The mission designer must really hate the environment guy. Oh my! I guess we're out of the tutorial now. All these players. 
Oh, look at all these very high level numbers. I feel like a noob. They're all cosmetic. Yeah, the biggest upgrade you could get to your ship is buy a better computer so these loading screens are over more quickly. <laughs> Callie, yeah, is it trying to get me to feel emotional about losing my powers? You know, that might have more punch with people that spent more time with Destiny 1. Oh no, my powers! But, you know, as a newer player who only played a few hours of Destiny 1, and... Yeah, it had no weight. I Losing my double jump was more upsetting than losing my super ability. <laughs> Losing my double jump was really upsetting. Alright. That's a stream, folks. This was fun. This was a good stream. I miss doing this. You played 200 hours of Destiny 1 and your response to losing your powers was, Oh cool, something new- Oh, never mind, they're back. That is amazing. <laughs> Alright, hey, thanks to everybody who showed up. I, I love hanging out with you folks. I'm sorry I don't do this more often. I get busy. I've been writing. Um, I'll try and do this again next week. Thanks for coming, everybody. See ya. Oh, one more thing. I'm going to be streaming E3 this weekend. So if you want to watch E3 with me and hear me snark about the publishers and comment on what they're doing, uh, you're going to get a lot of streams this weekend. I'm going to be streaming with Ross, who is a game developer at... Um, Ubisoft. I don't know if we're gonna actually crash the, or if we're gonna actually comment on the Ubisoft stream. I imagine if we do, Ross will be quiet during that one. So, hope to see you there. See ya!